New at six, there is some hope tonight for local businesses that got dealt a double whammy, the pandemic and then street construction projects. $17 million in federal COVID relief funds include supplemental grants for qualifying businesses impacted by detours, torn up streets and barricades. But as Jesse DeGoyado tells us, they have to meet a certain criteria of when that construction began and where their businesses are located. Cruising North St. Mary's isn't what it used to be. Now it's more like an urban obstacle course. But like most street construction projects, in the name of progress. We were hoping it would move along a little faster than it has, but it is what it is. So Getting in and out of Paige Bartow catering can take some doing. But what does help? They bend over backwards to make sure we can come and go and do what we need to do. Yet like all too many small businesses, the pandemic took its toll. It's uh, gone <laughs> paycheck to paycheck. To hang on to the handful of employees it still has, where once it had 40 people working here. It's uh, COVID and then construction on top of things um, has, has made it really tough. Some of our businesses have recovered, some are still trying to recover. It's why for the first time the city and lift fund are now offering COVID impact grants of up to $35,000 and $10,000 construction impact supplemental grants. The basic criteria for the construction grant, if work began between September of 2019 and December of last year. Also, the business must be within a one mile radius. We're just glad that we were able to offer the supplement uh, as a part of the grant program. So we figured why not? We'll, we'll apply for the grant and hope, hope something comes of it. The deadline to apply is 5 p.m. Monday, and there's even help available to fill out the application. We have that link on our website, KSAT.com. Jesse DeGoyado, KSAT 12 News.